Hello, and welcome back to my map and boss guide. Right now we have the level 76 map, Crematorium, which is based on the, uh, which is based on the tile set Crematorium in Act 3. Uh, so most of the damage you're going to encounter here is fire damage. Um, the layout is a little unique in that it's, uh, it's four levels, I believe, four floors, and then um, the last one is the boss, um, and it's just a big square. There's the exit. Um, it's a big square where you'll you, you clear each level and then you go down. Uh, at the last level, the boss level, there is a uh, there's a stairway to get back up. So if you have a master mission that you've completed on a lower level, uh, you can just get back. Um, big fiery rock dudes, uh, necros, uh, fire alchemists. Those are the type of mobs you can expect here. Uh, because this is a 76 map, uh, you're going to want to clear it, so be sure you clear each floor and then go down. Um, however, the boss on this map can be extremely dangerous if you're not prepared. Speaking of being prepared, we're going to throw on our, uh, our ruby flask so we can charge that up and make sure we, uh, we know what we're doing. So right now I'm on, uh, I'm on the second floor. I believe, yeah, second floor. And there's five floors total, so this is three. You can leap through these doors, by the way. I don't know if you guys knew that, but... Uh, or you can get stuck in those doors. Because you tried to leap through them to show people that you could. And RNG punishes me for being cocky like that. But you just work your way down floor to floor. Um, I typically, I'll clear the outside of each floor and then uh, work my way through the middle. Um, they're small enough so that they're pretty easy to, to know when you've hit it all. Alright, so this is the fourth floor and then the fifth is uh, Megara. Uh, Megara is that witch in uh, Act 1 on the, uh, the coast. Uh, she'll throw down tons of firestorms and fireballs. And she has a, uh, a blue pack right on top of her. And there's a few preparations that I'll do for her um, that I don't do for most bosses. And we'll, uh, we'll cover that when I get to the door. For now, we're going to try and desperately kill this guy. There we go. Alright. Let's find our way to the boss room. Oh, what kind of box is that? Blacksmith's. Uh, Uh, I think she does She does some sort of uh, fire on the ground. I'm not sure if it's a fire trap or if it's just uh, kind of a ground AoE, but uh, there's generally fire damage all around. Uh, so what we're going to do here is I'm actually going to take off my Aegis Aurora and we're going to equip a uh, Sapples frame. This gives me uh, an additional 79% of my block chance applied to spells, but I can't block attacks. She can't attack. So now I have a capped a uh, chance to block against spells. I also gained four elemental resist to f uh, max elemental resist to fire, which additional to a plus one I have on my tree gives me a total of 80% fire resist. So when we have our flask up, it's 90%. Um, and little preparations like this, guys, are the are the differences between being able to kill a boss and dying very quickly to the boss. So you'll see. Uh, she spawns with one group of blue mobs. She does uh, a fire AoE on the ground. It uh, looks like she spawns the skeletons and then the skeletons leave the AoE on the ground actually. Uh, but she does a lot of uh, firestorms. Uh, it's actually quite a bit of damage if I wasn't blocking. Uh, it's actually a little... there's a big chunk of damage. Uh, so while I have high spell block, the occasional spell gets through. Uh, and I can I can also use my my ruby flask to really to tank much much more of it. But we're really gonna just try and burst her down. We're gonna use our uh, Azuri's promise to get some extra damage while our ruby's up. Uh, when the ruby gets down, uh, we're gonna back off a little bit. Uh, make sure we have some endurance charges for regen and go right back in. Uh, it's also important to note that her firestorms last well after she's died. Uh, so don't just be um, don't be overzealous to grab the loot because you could walk into these firestorms and take some damage, get stunned and die. Um, 
but the key to the key to killing a boss like this that has a very high kill potential uh, is is to be prepared. Uh, you know, switch on your your ruby flask, get that spell block if you need it. Um, just just find the the tricks that your build can use. Uh, obviously, you know I'm a block based build, so that's what I do. Um, anyone can throw on a ruby. Um, anyone can a anyone can throw on a saffles if you're using a one hander, and uh, that will push your fire resist up. Uh, and then when combined with with the ruby uh, makes most builds that can wear shield it able to tank a good portion of the uh, of the fire even without block itself but just with the with the additional resistances this, this is a great example of a boss that uh, can be very hard and very deadly um, if you're not prepared but can be completely mitigated if you just know what to expect, you use the game knowledge uh, from people who've created guides and the wiki uh, to to take her down. So, this was uh, Crematorium, and thanks for.